My research um, is in the area of modern languages and translation studies, and I'm a specialist in Italian studies and um, also in Italian American studies. Um, for a long time, when I was asked um, what I research, what my interests were, I would say travel and translation, travel writing and translation. And um, normally people's reaction would be, oh, such disparate areas, how do you keep them together? But for me, there was always a logic there about mobility, the mobility of people, the mobility of culture, the mobility of language, the mobility of cultural products. And so when mobility studies became more fashionable, I had a word that I could use to describe that. But at the heart of what I do, there are two questions, two words, two phenomena that are so central to our society, to our history as well, migration and translation. Um, for me, the key question about language is how we use it as a tool of inclusion and exclusion to decide who is um, a member of our communities, of our societies, and who is not. And that is linked to the question of migration, that is also linked to the question of translation, and is linked to this model that continues to sustain ideas of monolingualism, the idea that um, the norm, the normativity of our world is based on one nation, one language, one culture, um, which is of course both historically incorrect and, and also socially not adherent to how we live our lives, how people um, live their everyday life. So for me, translation then becomes both a practice, an object of study, and uh, a tool, a method, a lens through which we can look at, uh, at how culture is produced, it circulates, it's received around the world. And, and that is a way of witnessing the creativity of, um, of, uh, of our cultures, of our communication systems, and also to promote inclusivity and social justice. So how do I do this? I started by looking at how travelers translated um, the elsewhere for the people at home. And then gradually I started looking at migrant writers and the way in which they self-translated their own experiences, uh, their own different uh, communities, identities, and spoke to those communities and those identities. Now I'm working also increasingly with artists, um, artists that use both visual and verbal languages, multiple languages, to uh, witness and uh, document and reflect upon their diasporic background and their diasporic experiences. And I also do this by training, um, not just linguists, linguists, translators, but also um, training professionals in the health profession, in the law profession um, and in the media um, to sensitize them to the importance of language, of thinking about language or thinking about languages in the plural, thinking about how languages are never really foreign, they're always already here um, and never very, never really singular. So at the center of all of this, um, there is my work on Italian culture and in particular on the Italian diaspora and on its memory. And I'm part of a, a, a group of people, I, I don't know if I can call it a, a, a movement by now in research, but certainly a group of people who are thinking about Italian studies, Italian American studies, Italian diaspora studies in a transnational and also in a translational way. Um, and by doing that, we are again, using that example to underline the creativity the productivity and the complexity of the way that language and cultural production and exchange work. <laughs>